Listen to Brandy's Looker to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And today we're going to destroy some value because we haven't even opened it yet. Oh man, I should have cut more of the tape off. <laughs> it's hard to do this giant reach around with this camera. Yeah, all right. No, I got a knife here. We're just going to make my life easier. What the? All right, so what do we got in here, love? A uh, leather face and then... Um, a big bag toy store card. Pennywise. So what these are, are the horror bushojos from Kotobukiya. So they're like horror movie icons, but done in a smexy style. Also, this one's upside down. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Wish I would have known the orientation before and... Ooh, I like that picture. Yeah. That's a nice picture. This is the one I was excited about. Little Miss Pennywise here. But anyways, I'm gonna hand you the box over top of my head. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> As my wife tries to take out all the studio lighting. All right, so we got Pennywise. We got Leatherface who wasn't even out yet, but they already announced that they're doing another one of these. Well, there's technically a second variant though. Yeah, it's like her in the, uh, like the suit. Yeah, the suit. Um, but anyways, we're gonna open this gal first. We're gonna say Pennywise for last. Oh, it's even got the look. <laughs> oh, I love. I, do we have to open Pennywise? I actually really like this packaging. Well, it's not like we don't keep the boxes for the girls. <sighs> Shit. Oh, I just put a hole in my table. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> this one's not bad either. Though. Like it's got the fencing on the side. Then the leather face is a little more stacked than some of the other gals. <laughs> but do you say so? But she's a thick girl. <laughs> that is true. She's uh, definitely on a slightly larger size, but I can appreciate it. Also, it has, like, the way the statue looks compared to the um, uh, the model here, she just looks like she's, like, dead inside. <laughs> this one actually looks like it has a little bit of character to it. But anyways, all right, so, uh, hey, Pennywise, you. You can hold on to her for a minute while we get this out. It also, I believe this one has an extra head. So you can have it posed with leather face mask or without. Kind of like with Chucky. There's yeah. only been a few other ones like Ch with Chucky and stuff like that. Yeah, oddly enough, the Michael Myers didn't. Yeah. Like it was like you know, the mask was just on the part of the display. But, oh, it's got the date here too. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Like I said, these boxes are freaking cool. Yeah, it's like the one like shining thing about Kota Bikia. Like even like the leather face or not leather, uh, the pinhead one, which is probably my least favorite out of the bunch we've gotten in. Uh, box is still sweet. <laughs> but she had some issues. Yeah. Uh, which hopefully. Which is odd too, because like the rest of them have been like real at least like just I really enjoy them. She's the one that was like, I, we could almost probably put her back up for sale. No. <laughs> but, but we almost have a set. So it's like, like I, the only ones I'm missing that I would like to have is like, I bet Tiffany fun. for sure and Chucky would be nice. Uh, but here is the extra head, which she's kind of got a little pouty lip going on. Mm. Got some bit of a cowlick, you can see the straps. On the back here, that's where the pig would insert. I don't know if she's a chest. Okay, cool. Didn't knock everything over. I uh, probably should keep the plastics near each other so I know which one's which. Makes life a whole heck of a lot easier later on. Oh, she bloody. Oh, it's dripping off the, the saw. That's terrifying in multiple ways because that could break off really easy. <laughs> And it's scary looking. Um, anyways, it looks like it's got a little piece of cotton there. And then probably gotta pop the head off to get the rest of the plastic off. Please. That is on. Mm. There we go. So I guess we'll show you with the the alternate head on real quick. Cause this will probably be the only time we actually put this thing on. Uh because I think it's cool, but I kind of like the other look a little bit better. So, here she is. With a leather face. 
God, look at the size of that bedong. <laughs> that is huge. I like it. <laughs> like I said, that's what I appreciate about these ones is that they're not all, all the stereotypical big boobs, you know, like anorexic chicks and stuff. But. Yeah, they all have like a different style. Like even like the first one's like, Jason's like ripped, mm -hmm. <laughs> but a little bit like larger on the top, but she's ripped. Freddie's like, uh, kind of like you're like Jessica Negri, kind of blonde, if you will. Well, like Chucky's a little bit on the slender side. Same with like the Beetlejuice, has like that glam girl look. And then Leatherface here has like that country girl. <laughs> kind of like, uh, if you guys see Goblin Slayer, she's kind of like Cowgirl in terms of body style. Yes, her name is Cowgirl. <laughs> but detailing, like she's got the boots on the bottom, which look nice. You have the... Oh, I'm trying to... Because you, you have like the bones and stuff. I think that's fat and stuff like that. I think there's stuff. there's like rubbish. I imagine a lot of there's like some like cloth and stuff in here too. Yeah. But you see like there's some teeth laid about with the hardwood floor, which looks really nice. The outfit's got some good blood texturing. It's a little bit on the glossy side for the blood, but the apron is done in a matte, so it doesn't shine nearly as much outside of the blood. And then she's got her shirt on. Only a shirt shirt on. She got panties on, but that's about it. She also got a tie. I guess we could talk about the tie. Then the hands have some blood on them. Uh, she's got a little bracelet, which looks like it has like bones on it, which looks really good. And it's tied off in the back nicely. Yeah, this one's actually really solid. Like I said, I think, I don't know. I, I guess it's up to you because you did buy it. <laughs> but I kind of just like this look a little better. Yeah, I, I like her original. Where you got like the soulless eyes. Um, but it looks good. Because I don't know, it, I guess it's like, it still like has that leather face appeal, but you don't have to look at this the entire time, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but then again, like it's because the one thing I actually like about these two is it's almost like, a, like if a cosplayer was doing it. And then moving on to Pennywise. Which, this one is based off of the 2017 movie. I wonder if we'll ever get, like, the Tim Curry one. That'd be cool. <laughs> like, Tim Curry chick Pennywise. That'd be an interesting one. Um, but I know, personally, for me, like, the version of it I prefer is this one over the Tim Curry. Like, I love me some Tim Curry. And, to be honest, it's probably one of my more favorite Stephen King things. But... They just did such a good job in that movie. I was going to say, is the balloon a separate thing? But then no, it's just the way the plastic looks. Just kind of hanging out over here. I kind of wish we would have got these in a little sooner, but they've been like kind of just chilling in the pile of loot forever. Well, Leatherface wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I think she like just came in, right? And yeah. then you shipped it. I was like, Pennywise has been well, I'm screwed <laughs> in there for a little bit. Uh, okay, balloon is free. Her head is stuck. <laughs> oh, no. Let go. Let go of her hair. Timber. All right, on the floor with ye. She's not nearly <laughs> as as uh, stacked. I guess is the best word as the um, leather face. Like, again, like, they all have, like, their own versions. And it kind of, like, again, ties back to more, like, the character. Like, I could see, like, a female clown kind of having this kind of same kind of look. Um, but you got the little balloon here. Which looks like it should just hopefully go into the hand here. There we go. Well, thought I had it. I think it was just my hand sliding. Oh no. Uh oh, spaghettios. Uh, <laughs> I think my wire's too big for the hole. The problem is, is I don't want to apply too much pressure because I don't want to break the hand. Is this an actual wire? 
Because that's the other thing I'm concerned about too is um, uh, breaking it, if you will. Because it looks fairly straight on the actual figure. Crap. Ugh. This might be one I might have to heat it up to, in order to... Yeah, don't... Don't really get that in there. It, dear. But I want to go in, dear. Yeah. Alright, so... Here's how it should sort of look. <laughs> if you guys want to see. Lost. I'll have it for the thumbnail. It'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what would be cool? If this lit up to do the yellow eyes. That would be cool. Oh, that'd be... If you want me to buy one of these again, Kota Bikia, make a light-up version. Um, but head sculpt looks really nice. I like, too, that she's got, like... I don't know if it's because of the way the makeup's done on the face, but she's got a little bit of like a chubby cheeks going on. But I think that's mainly the makeup. Yeah. Like, they might be a little exaggerated. But the eyes look nice. The hair is not really as red as the package. Shows, but then again, it's in the dark, so to speak. Yeah, I think so far that's my one nitpick. Because it's almost like a pink. For the hue. Which sort of matches what's going on with the outfit. Because even this is a little bit more pinkish than red. Um, yeah, there's actually quite a bit of the coloring is a little different. Because even around the neck here. Like this is definitely more of a white. Well, again, this has got kind of like the same thing going on with the hue back here. But then again, like this is more of an off-white. While this, her bow here. Has like a porcelain look to it. With the red kind of fraying off. And then her outfit's done in a white. Same with the skin on the back here. Which almost kind of blends in. Although I'm noticing. Yeah there are some shadows. Yeah like she's got a little bit of yellow on her. On her back there. Like almost kind of like rubbing. In a way, but I don't know if that's just them trying to like add some detailing to the skin or if it actually rubbed. Because I don't really like see it like in the chest region or anything. Got the little cottons on the front. Like I would say out of a lot of these Kotopikias, she's probably like the least sexualized out of the bunch. Because like this like almost seems like just like a legit cosplay, right? Mm -hmm. Like the other one's like smexy <laughs> well this one she's like it just looks like somebody wearing a pennywise outfit for yeah. the most part you got the giant stockings here but there's nothing really here like really like gravitating me towards something like i would expect to see in like an etchy or something like that um but i do like the stand where it's the pool of blood with the uh, georgie boat it was kind of another selling point and it's got a metallic on the bottom so that's where you're getting a lot of that, like, shine going on with it. Which they do on, like, the Godzilla X-Bosses and stuff to kind of make it seem brighter than it actually is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm still debating because I'm a little disappointed with the coloring. I think they could have, like, she definitely needed a lot more contrast. Yeah, that should have made it a little bit more reddish. Yeah, like, the reds really should have been a red. And to be honest, like, the eyes being a little bit more of, like, a bright yellow, I think, would have really pop, made it pop, too. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure which one I actually like more, to be fair. Like, I didn't think I was going to like the, the leather face as much as I do. I don't know if it's just because Pennywise is giving me troubles with the balloon, <laughs> but I don't know. It's just like I said, with the pictures and stuff, she's just not nearly as, like, uh, colorful as I thought it was going to be. So, that's a slight bit let down. Still a really, really good looking figure, though. But, I almost kind of... Eh. Actually, yeah, I think I'd probably give it to Leatherface between the two. Just as, like, I don't really got any, like, major nitpicks. Because even, like, the extra head's pretty sweet. Um, in terms of the overall design, like, if I... You're buying this for a reason, <laughs> essentially. Because you like horror movies, but you also like yourself some bigger girls. Well, this one, I think, is a little bit more tame for the Kota Bikia line. Or at least tame 
well, yeah. compared next to each other. Even Ed, you know, Edward Scissorhands, she was pretty tame. You know, she there wasn't anything really. Yeah, because those are probably the two. Because, like, the, even the, um, the Ash. Yeah. Like, she's got some, like, the clothes is ripped and stuff like that. So she definitely grabs your attention. Same with, like, the Freddy Jason. Probably Chucky. Chucky would probably be the other one. Thinking off the top of my head. But outside of that. Uh, but let us know in the comment section below which one you guys prefer. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become our engine. We also got Instagram, Patreon, pictures, Facebook. Guys, like to give up the video channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.